Hi guys, um, just my two cents on Celcon A200. Uh, I recently bought this phone because I have to gift it to someone, but they're gonna pay for it. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, uh, I've been waiting for uh, my friend to pick up a phone for a long time. I've been waiting for all those quad cores to get released. And before that, I knew Celcon A200 was one of the best because it uh, gives all the sensors for the price tag it got in. That's the reason why I waited all this while and just went out yesterday, got it, um, you know, I just picked it up. So this is a Celcon A200 phone. Let's see the contents of the box very quickly because uh, I'm not going to waste more time on it. So that's the box. Uh, let's quickly skim through the contents. This is what we got here inside. There's a user manual for Celcon um, A200 and a USB current charges, uh, pin piece, and the USB charger along with the headphones. I, I don't want to complain like other reviewers do about the quality of the headphones and stuff. If you can afford it, go for a better phone. If you can't, buy a better headphone. This is all what the other phones do. Okay, that's about the box. Let's keep it aside. Now, I'm going to read from the box. I won't be showing that to you now. Uh, or maybe I will. Uh, okay, this is uh, the features as uh, Celcon gives you. It's a dual SIM phone. It's a dual standby SIM phone. Android 4.0, 1 GHz processor, uh, dual core processor, and uh, it has a dual camera. The front camera, I guess, is a VGA, uh, not much fuss about it. It uh, almost uh, gets the job done. 5 megapixel camera, there's a catch with the camera, I'll tell you later. There is an option of switching it to 8 megapixel because of the sensor in it. And 10.922 centimeter, that's 4.3 inch WVGA IPS screen which is not bad because <clears throat> IPS is one of the best screens available, if not HD. Um, yeah, at this price point, it's really good. 512 MB RAM, 4 GB ROM, uh, the apps memory that's available for the user for apps and I mean, um, apps memory is somewhere around 1 GB. That's what I found out while I used the phone for the first time yesterday. And uh, GPS, uh, I still have to test the GPS out. Bluetooth 3.0, which is good. Um, not 4.0, but but yeah, it's not a deal breaker. 15 mega ampere hour battery. Battery is uh, a con on this mobile because I can only get it with moderate usage with a single SIM for a day. That's what people have been telling me. I haven't uh, tested it out completely. All I wanted to do was talk about the phone and get this done over with. And it has light proximity motion sensor. It has more sensors, but only three are mentioned here. I'll talk uh, to you about the sensors later in detail. Social networking, yes, every smartphone does that. They need not advertise that, but still let them do it. Expandable memory, um, up to 32 GB. That's a card you can use in the phone. So this is how it is. And the box price is 8,799. I brought it, you know, I bought it for 7,000, uh, 480 and uh, that includes 280 bucks uh, the extra thing that they charge for your credit card uh, so along with that it's 7480 other than that I got it for 7200 Snapdeal is listing it for uh, 7500 so uh, you can get that uh, okay let's start with the phone and Okay, let me start off with the phone. I do not know whether it will get Jelly Beans update or not. So I'm really not bothered because this will do the job for me because I've been using this with, um, you know, gingerbread all this while. I really got bored with it. I just want something new which is really faster than compared to this one, single core 256 RAM. This is a dual core 1 giga hedge for, for 512 RAM and you get a lot of free RAM and it doesn't lag on you or you can use it for gaming stuff like that okay so so you just uh, heard about my introduction about the phone and uh, what made me buy this uh, let's go to camera first like I told you 
this is a 5 megapixel shooter and it's uh, touch to focus see that's focusing right and that's my conch shell that's uh, focusing right now and my ace so this is kind of decent camera for the price range and I don't really use camera much so this is HD recording off or on the flash and you know the lighting settings and the color effects and this is the scene mode you know all this uh, you know standard jelly bean outlets and this is what I was talking about yesterday when I bought this phone it was 8 megapixel the picture size and right now there is an option of changing it if you click on here it, it changes its picture uh, size I think it's a sensor but Cellcon doesn't want to advertise it as 8 megapixel maybe because uh, they thought the clarity was somewhere closer to 5 megapixel but I don't give a damn so you can use this and you can show to your friends that uh, you know it's an 8 megapixel cam just that Cellcon wants to brand it as 5 megapixel, 5 megapixel it's been branded as 5 megapixel and once the camera is done let's talk about uh, the touch and there should be a touch tester somewhere here that I downloaded uh, Okay, I'm still looking for it. Should I kept it ready? Sorry for that. I just found out that uh, you know the multi-touch tester. I haven't even uh, installed it. Right now, I did. So this is the touch tester. One, two, three, four, five. You can see, right? It's a five-point touch screen and let me um, go to the sensors let's talk about the sensors in this um, yesterday I was uh, trying to buy a, you know carbon titanium MS5 I you know got it from a friend and I was trying to check if there are some apps that run flawlessly in that if you look at this phone you have got every bloody sensor available except for the temperature which you don't need usually pressure now gyroscope for a, a little bit of gaming but I don't need it so the basic thing which I want in a phone is an orientation sensor see this thing works but carbon titanium s5 there is no orientation sensor micromax e110 which people are so crazy about doesn't have an orientation sensor what are they gonna use their smartphones for for using whatsapp come on that's not me I need an orientation sensor at least for uh, some stuff that I would like to use uh, which need orientation sensor which I would be showing it to you right now and there is light sensor accelerometer sensor as you know uh, and proximity sensor and the compass the proximity sensor works okay it should be somewhere here see right and that is how it is you have caught a sound sensor while I talk come on climb up yeah it is climbing up so this is about uh, the sensors you have in this phone I think this is a value for money deal you get you are getting sensors I'll, I'll show you um, an app on my phone which I used to um, you know like that app is TurboFly 3D and if you start this uh, you know game this game runs on my one gigahertz I'm sorry 800 megahertz processor phone with 256 RAM just because my phone has an orientation sensor in it the only reason it doesn't work the tilt doesn't work on carbon s5 and micromax a110 I think it's a gyroscope problem because I'm, I'm sorry I think it's an orientation sensor problem because uh, there is nothing um, else that's missing on those phones which my phone has so uh, that should be it that's the reason uh, they are unable to play this app and uh, my phone is able to play this and this phone plays it flawlessly and there's one more application which did not even start on carbon titanium s5 
that is word lens see apps like these I mean you don't even get this screen on that phone apps like these you know need to run that's that's why I need my smartphone for if they don't run and I'm sorry uh, that's not the phone for me that's the reason why uh, you know there's a influence you can call I bought this phone and let's uh, you know start with Antutu and Nina Mark let's click Antutu this is Antutu 2 uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, built for this phone or not but still I wanna try it out if it's not then we're gonna stop right here okay I'll start the test now I'll publish this still in progress guys still in progress guys uh, gaming seems to be flawless I'm not gonna review uh, gaming or I'm even you know thinking of skipping Nina Mark because uh, people have done that earlier and uh, you know you can you can look there for the scores um, so I'm just trying to show how this is right now okay so that's how the scores look like in Antutu actually I didn't want to do it but I still uh, did it because uh, people again leave uh, comments asking for the scores again and again uh, while I'm not ready to do that um, so Nina Mark uh, you can look for Ranjit's video uh, he can explain you the technicalities of uh, tests like this better than me because I'm just a consumer okay and um, all okay then you can ask why you brought this video up I just wanted to tell you that there are more sensors in this phone and it's more useful than other phones you might be buying you might be shelling out more money as well right uh, end of the day it's your hard-earned money and I don't want you to lose it for something that's not worth it um, okay apps done now let's talk about the cons of this phone 1500 mAh battery it's uh, it's a bit of a letdown but not a deal breaker and no Gorilla Glass really have to be careful while you're using this phone and if you have got thick fingers you should be gentle on the display okay and these are the usual quick toggles and <clears throat> the f one thing I liked about this phone is it looks more uncustomized it's not customized at all it, it feels like a naked Nexus device it does if you have used any of the Nexus devices in the past you would know what I'm talking about not not much of customization but they have um, you know uh, incorporated hell lot of applications in this which you do not need like Angry Birds Yahoo Messenger uh, my mango uh, you know you go to my cellcon and you find all this my mango yup tv my world stringo i don't use any of these because i use my smartphone for news banking a bit of gaming music browsing and keeping in touch so i really don't need uh, stuff like that um, so for me it's it's kind of bloated uh, you have got documents to go and you have got a you got dropbox application compass earth and the regular browser is good uh, for that you have to watch other videos other reviews because uh, they have reviewed this uh, reviewed that better than um, you know my review and uh, they would be you know uh, better to look at and the sketch notes this is one of the things I like you can um, you know add your notes right here and you just can go out like this it's saved I can go there again look for pages see okay uh, that's how it is and let's kill these okay guys uh, that's about it I really want to talk more but yeah kind of done with the review and uh, hope to find your comments here and uh, tell me how you found this phone is it good bad or something like that